Hi, and welcome to another episode of Sustainment TV. I'm your host, David McDonald, and before we get into today's show, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It'll help the channel to grow and continue to be able to improve what I do. But without further delay, let's get right into today's episode. As you can see, I have a guest on today's show. He is no stranger to entertainment in general. His name is David Z. McDonald. Um, his artist name is So Sorry, without the second L. Um, he also is a producer of uh, short films, and we, we'll kind of get into that um, in today's interview. Welcome to the show. What's going on? What's going on? It's been a while since I've been able to sit down in person and chat with you, so this is always a plus. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah, I'm glad to be home. All right, so... Um, how long have you been in the music in general? I started playing the viola in fifth grade, so not too good with math, but that's like a couple of years. Like, oh, it's been at least two years. Yeah. <laughs> what first uh, made you want to be a musician in the beginning? Growing up in the church, I just always thought the instruments were, you know, cool. Like, I didn't know how to play anything, but I was like, it like gave me like a sense of something to do it just seemed interesting and then mm -hmm. you know you were playing the trombone for since the day I came out you know before that so it just felt right when the opportunity came up to play something okay 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 so you um you started out as a musician so what made you transition into music production how did how did that whole thing come about um, I was in middle school and I met one of my close friends and collaborators to this day, uh, Indy, Indiana Gonzalez, mm -hmm. he goes by Indy 500 now. Um, he was already, cause his dad's like a computer nerd or something like that. So okay. he was already, okay. already on computers like that. I wasn't really into the tech too much mm -hmm. and he showed me like the first places that I could go on the internet to like experiment with mixing sounds electronically okay. Okay. digital composition and all that stuff mm -hmm. so yeah okay so I'm hearing you say music production started out as a technology experiment in the beginning yeah I was just trying something out I thought it was cool but then I was like okay this is actually really cool so then we ended up upgrading from the online music services and downloaded like FL Studio. Okay. And just kept going from there. I guess for someone who's an artist of any sort, it's always it's always an experience to be able to create something from nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so okay, so let's go a little further then, I guess in reference to uh, creating something. Are you able to briefly describe your creative process in general? Um, I would say I can take inspiration from anywhere, but more often than not, it starts out with like something I'll hear in my environment or I'll, a tune will pop in my head that I haven't heard because ultimately every time that I get on, I like to make music for myself more than anything. Mm -hmm. Like something that I know that I would listen to. Okay. That's what I shoot after every time. Mm -hmm. I don't always hit the mark, but mm -hmm. that's what I'm going for. So when I hear a tune, I'm like, oh, that sounds good. And then I just start trying to lay it down, like picking the sounds out of my head. Like, oh, this sounds like a guitar. So I'll play it on a guitar or I'll dig through all the sounds on my computer and find something that hits. It, it's kind of it's mostly the same every time but it, there's also something a little bit different about every time you join in terms of As, how the process like goes project, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. you hear a tune that you haven't heard before you're referring to like melodies or sounds it like could be your... melodies it could be I thought of a song that I already knew and then a specific part and I started chopping it in my head like 
It's like I have pre-production in my head before I actually get on the computer. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. So all I'm doing is trying to like translate it from my brain onto the onto the keyboard. Okay. All right. So what's your what's your favorite genre of music? If you had to pick my specific type or style. When I first got into recording myself and making music, well, I was always making music, but recording myself. Okay. okay. Um, R and B was what I listened to for the most part. That's what made me want to start recording. Um, and also, I was pretty heavily rotating like hip hop too. Okay. So okay. Like hip hop and R and B. Now, would you say, um, would you say older hip hop? Um, well, older to you in a way. <laughs> would you say? Um, 80s and 90s were influential, or would you say further back than that? In no, terms like of newer. Oh, okay, so you, you're okay. So the newer R&B and hip hop is what kind of got you going. That's what made me want to record. Okay. okay. Like if we're talking about influences and like my beats and stuff like that, that comes from like older stuff. Okay. Okay. Because I gravitate towards more like groovy samples, mm -hmm. like that kind of vibe. But like once I started seeing the stuff, it was like the the newer stuff like Party Next Door, the uh, the 2010 to like, well not even 10 really, 2012 to like 2016 underground R&B sound. Okay. Was, okay. Had me in the headlock for a little bit. Okay. Okay. What should um I guess what should the music world or fans in general what should we expect from you in the next one or two years? Uh, well, right now, I'm just kind of like putting stuff out because I've had a problem with uh, hoarding, music hoarding. <laughs> I like hold on to projects for too long. Okay. And I think I've probably held myself back from opportunities that I don't even know mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the content is good. The content is there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just got to put it in front of the people. So, I mean, right now I'm just kind of like a loose cannon, like I'm recording and then once it's done i'm just gonna put it up on my soundcloud it's kind of like an archive but i plan on moving to new york next year okay and once i get out there and start going to school i'll be able to uh focus a little bit more time and energy on my creative side and the music because right now i feel like pulled in multiple directions but if i can just focus everything in kind of one you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Progressive, like we're going this way, then I think that'll be really good for me. So I plan to drop like my first official collective project mm -hmm. once I get out there. Okay. So look for that in like a year and a half, something like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, obviously, you, you're referring to things pulling at you, talking about your, you're talking about your schedule. Yeah. So he's, he's active in the military. So thank you for your service. All right, so uh, I know in your last uh, in your last response you 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 referenced um, SoundCloud. So where should where can people go to find your music? Uh, what platforms are you on? Uh, I have something on every platform. Okay. Out okay. There, but right now I am pushing heavily on SoundCloud for the next couple months until I get into that next phase that I was talking about. Um, but I have stuff on Apple Music, Spotify. It's out there. I'm okay. so sorry. S-O-S-R-R-Y. That information will be in the description of the video. For those of you that may not know, he actually is a, uh, he's he has IMDB credits already in the production side of things. I know um, he's a producer on an upcoming short film called Aiding the Enemy. And also, he is a producer on an upcoming short film called A Bag Full of Loot. So, um, you know, kind of look out for that. That'll be that'll be a uh, limited release on some digital platforms. So, um, so yeah, be looking for that. He actually makes an appearance in A Bag Full of Loot, also. So that's uh, <laughs> good stuff. You have any 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 last words for the people? Uh, make sure y'all check out my music. 
Um, but also hit the like button and subscribe. He said it. Thanks for tuning in to uh, Sustainment TV. Always uh, looking for your comments, your input. Please like, share, subscribe, and um, all that good stuff. Thanks for tuning in. We'll uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Oh,